I think that this neighborhood has a lot of soul. It had a lot of soul growing up. There was a lot of, uh, you know, real people, real people. I spent a lot of time in New York. I spent a lot of time in Los Angeles, you know, and I come home and it grounds me when I come home. And it grounded me then too. I was born and raised down the street. But it was, uh, it was kind of a lonely place if you were an artist, you know? So that's why at 18 years old, I left. I was institutionalized for a few months. And uh, I was hearing voices. And it was driving me crazy, you know? And uh, the psychiatrist recommended that I write down the voices. Now, having had a theater background, they came out in the form of dialogue. Pay me, huh? Oh, Pay well, me. Well, Pay I, I... I like your palpable fear, but it's too much for too me much? right now. All I want to see is... They're really great plays. They're... They're great for actors. They're meaty, great. And they're about characters. And, yeah. And, uh, yeah, they're about the big things that you'd love to feel, like uh, betrayal and loss and grieving and moving on. Yeah. I would apologize, and then you stand, stand up. He used to do that, OK? Yeah. Try that. Let's try okay. that. When I heard about the Walking Fish Theater, um, the fact that there's a, a theater in the neighborhood um, I submitted some work, and I met with uh, Stan and Michelle. They really liked my work, and they read my plays, and they said, let's just do a run. Let's do these particular plays. He keeps saying that he wants to do some environmental theater because we shot some publicity stills in the graveyard over there. It's like, wouldn't that be cool to do it in the graveyard? Grave Digger, the plays of Mark Borkowski, will run... Right here at the Walking Fish Theater. That's right. In Kensington. Kensington is popping, you know, there's, there's people moving out all the time, artists everywhere, and, and the pe and long-term residents who are saying, wow, this is cool too. And when we saw the building, Stan really saw its potential. When he looked at it, he could, you know, this place is a wreck. But he saw the stage area there in, like, what was one of the kitchens, and, um, and he saw our beautiful yeah, home. Yeah. And, and he's the one who led the charge through through all of that muck and mire. And... It's true. <laughs> that part's true. <laughs> when we first moved in here, there were holes in the ceiling and the floor. You could stand in the basement and look out the roof. The Walking Fish Theater opened on this site uh, August 31st, 2007. So we're just finishing our third season here. Part of our mission is to bring artists and the community together. Mark Borkowski is from this neighborhood. He grew up, you know, nearby. The plays that we did for Gravedigger all occurred to him or um, he observed these things happening while he was in Kensington. I, um, I decided that it would be great to be both an actor and a director during the Gravedigger production. Um, it was a little crazy. <laughs> I had to you know, juggle many hats. I had to put on my directing hat when I was a director and cast that play and I try to pick the best actors that I could. And then when it was time to act, I take off the director's cap and, you know, turn that switch in my head of saying, um, no, I'm not the boss, I'm gonna follow someone else's directions. His idea was they need to see their, their themselves or some reflection of their lives. Gritty urban drama, that that was the idea and and people out there feel that you know they their lives are drama i believe you know on that street it had a lot of soul growing up it has even more soul now because you know there's artistic avenues you know what i mean and uh i'm just really i'm really touched that we have a theater here because this was inconceivable growing up you know it was inconceivable growing up it's just really cool you know i'm hoping that you know, places like the Walking Fish Theater and people like Stan, Michelle, myself, putting up work here, we could 
we could be an inspiration to some of the kids around here maybe, you know, and, you know, bring out the art, the poetry, the, you know. Yeah, we're following you. Yeah, yeah. Whoa.